Hi all, welcome to this Team of the Week 30 predictions. Looks at a decent Team of the Week and also some nice looking cards and also maybe one or two want to watch cards can sneak in. So we can smash like this awesome sub to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at Jeez Legend. All the links are down below for playlists in the channel and social media links as always. So let's jump into Team of the Week 30 and showcase how good it potentially could be. So for my first shoot of the week is Consigli. He made half a dozen saves and got an 8 on Gazetta. Usually that is a strong shout for getting into the team of the week and for me it looks a nice looking card and would be a nice boost. He's always kind of like the cheap 83 option but he will not be the cheapest for potentially the next week. Jagielka got two goals and one assist over two EPL games at, over the last week. He got a goal in the Manchester United game and then got a goal and an assist in the Leicester game. Should be strong enough despite not keeping a clean sheet in either game. That should be his overall performances over the two should merit a uh, inform. Then John Brooks second and foremost inbound with a goal and clean sheet for Hefer Berlin. Very impressive for him and definitely could be a nice upgrade indeed. Fazio for me, goal and a clean sheet be a nice upgrade. He has played really really well for Roma this season and this will be a nice upgrade. While the pace is not the most enticing, the upgrade on the card will be impressive nonetheless. And Signe, the guy is just absolutely on fire. Um, he got two goals and an eight on Gazetta. Now, um, I would have thought two goals might put us off from him getting a team of the week, but I think because of how well he is actually playing in real life, it's like two goals just now and an eight for somebody like Insigne is actually strong enough. And this is going to be like a fifth in form, I think. It's just insane. Four for fifth in form. The guy is on fire and just a godly card. Arjen Robin got a 1 on kicker and also only 1 goal but he was absolutely just detrimental in Bayern's performance at the weekend and for me should get the inform. There is other shouts within the team but for me Arjen Robin is probably the strongest shout because a 1 on kicker is very hard to get and that for me should merit him getting an inform. Then we've got Eden Hazard who is probably an outside shout because of getting 2 goals. One of them was a rebound off a penalty. It would have been a um, penalty goal nonetheless, but because it was against Manchester City, that should kind of go strongly in his favour. Now a 94 rated card for him with Team of the Season so close would make his potential Team of the Season card even more scary, but also make the 94 a bit pointless. So it's hard to say what they're going to do. Um, I've put him in, but I fancy him to get in, but we'll see what happens come tomorrow. Hugh Mainson, very impressive for Tottenham, he was absolutely on fire over the two games and an 88 card, probably, I was about to say 87, but it's 88, this card could be absolutely insane and Team of the Season can't come quick enough because it's going to be an absolutely godly card, um, but Huming Sun and it's also a right mid I believe, so this will be an interesting position change for him, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. Edison Cavani got two goals and one assist and an 8 on the keep. That should be strong enough. The guy's got nearly 30 goals for the season and the guy is just doing the business since um, taking over for Ibra as it were because they weren't sure how he'd perform but he's doing the business and this is another inform for Cavani. Balotelli, another inform, third inform for him. He got two goals and an eight on the keep as well but um, very impressive. When he's on fire for Nice he's doing the business um, when he's not getting sent off because he's had like four, like three or four sending offs this year so it's kind of insane. But a nice card nonetheless. And Morata got a hat trick for Real Madrid. Everyone kind of expected Informs to be inbound for this guy this year, but this is his first inform. It's going to be a nice card, and hopefully, if you have his one to watch card, you will enjoy it. So let's jump into subs and reserves. Talavera made about 10 or 11 saves for his team in the Mexican League. Looks a nice card, and honestly, it could be quite cheap, so keep that in mind if you want a cheap inform. Alca Alcala got two goals and a clean sheet for Girona. Nice looking card and cheap nonetheless. Guardado has a shout, but because of so many guys in the Eredivisie got hat tricks at the weekend, he might be missed out. But a goal and three assists is very hard to kind of neglect. Tornstra hat trick definitely looked inbound for a second and form. This card's going to be insane. I'm definitely wanting it. Be worth trying out in some nice, neat hybrids. Hulan, two goals, one assist for Norwich. Alex Pritchard is the other shoot because I think he got the man of the match but Houlihan, because he's a goal, might get the preference. Aaron Hunt, um, two goals one and a one on kicker um, for me should get an inform. He played right mid so it's going to be an annoying position change. If it was a cam it would be a nice card but can't complain nonetheless. 
Last off, got a hat trick yet again. The guy is absolutely on fire. This team of the season card could be actually verging on insanity. Aguirre Garay, I think that's right. It should kind of nail it. He got two goals and a clean sheet for his team and looks like a nice looking card nonetheless. Um, Almo Cohen, he got three goals and one assist over two games. One of them was um, a brace, so that kind of should help him out and be a nice inform. And with the Bundesliga is coming soon for the League SBC. If you've not got this guy in your club, it might be worth nabbing him because his price could rock it up and it could give an excuse for um, releasing the Bundesliga SBC while he is in as an inform. Kuroki got a hat trick. Aloski got a hat trick and Ricky Van Wolfinkel got a hat trick. So these guys all should get informed. All nice cards. Um, Aloski is the one I'm looking forward to actually the most because that looks a very nice looking um, bronze card. And if it gets the right kind of boost, um, should be a nice upgrade nonetheless. So hope you enjoyed this. As always, let me know in the comments down below who else could get informed this week. Smash the like as always. Sub to channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at Gs Legend. Take care, y'all. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you all later.